You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. And I'm genuinely flying without wings. Mm. I am. Yeah. Yeah. What have you got for us this week, Mike? Well, I've got a story about someone being trampled to death. Well, that's well, cheerful. Well, yeah. they survived, to be fair. Oh, OK. Just so stepped on a little bit. Except but not completely dead. Not dead. Not even damaged, really. Just stepped Just on. stepped on. OK. And I've got some showbiz stories about somebody who likes to knit things. <laughs> on screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. The TV for our website. And on our YouTube or podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names wumble across the bottom of the screen, we get ready for this week's show, isn't we? <laughs> so, Mike, what do we want from celebrities in 2022? What do we want them to give us? More nudity. More nudity? Yes. How... A gentle rub down. Gentle... An aggressive rub down. Oh, OK. Being pinned down and choked by the throat. Okay, how about how about a celebrity knitting range? No, no, you don't want that. No. Well, we're getting it from uh. from um, Tom Daly. So we, why <laughs> we've spoken about this before? He he started knitting. We've got a picture of him here knitting at the Olympics because uh -huh. he he found that it helped him with his stress levels during yeah, yeah. doing something with his hands. Doing something with his hands. Yeah. There's a whole there's a whole audience there. Yeah, yeah. I'm all ready for it. Um, so he's he's taken up knitting. Really likes it. He's been approached by a company to to release his own um, <clears throat> knitting patterns oh. that people can buy with the, with the wool as well okay. and knit them. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're hmm, I'm, we've got some pictures of them here. The, the, there's choices there. There's just now, so the one on the left with the, that is caressing the flamingos, Yeah. that is called Elvis Flamingo and that is 95 quid. So well, there is a lot of wool there, to be fair. There's a lot of wool, and you've got to, you've got to knit it. Then the one next to him, that is um, his flamingo favourite jumper. That's 125 quid. But there's less wool on that one. Yeah, but you've got to make it. But it's actually a special, special kind of wool. It's not sort of regular sheep wool. It's an angora. It's something like that. It's let me let me just let me just um, let me just find it because it's it's it is it is. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's Tom Daly's belly button fluff. He collects, he's been collecting it for 18 months, spun it into yarn. Had to use a few of his pubes because he was a bit short. It's not very tall. It's not very, yeah, no. So it's made from merino wool. Oh. That comes from, now here I've got from non-molested sheep. I don't think that's what I was supposed to type. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't, I don't. I don't know what word is supposed to be there. It's auto-corrected to, to non-molested. <laughs> or has it? Because um, that's where every other one comes from, a molested sheep. I don't know what word it would is be. It, is it masticated sheep? I don't know, Mike. It says molested on it. It might be masticated sheep. What's masticated? <laughs> Chew. <laughs> oh. So you said you knew... When I went merino wool, you went, oh. oh. Is, do you know what it is? <laughs> oh, OK. Sorry, I thought you were... <laughs> Going to gain some insight. I, I, I as soon as you said marina wool, I got the end of Stingray in my head. Oh, marina, no. aqua marina. Okay, well, maybe, that, it's, maybe yeah. it's wool from a mermaid. Possibly, it's some kind of fancy sheep. So they start off at thirty quid for a Father Christmas stocking, goes up to two hundred and twenty quid for a large multicolored blanket. Mm, well, that's a lot of money for something that you've got to knit yourself. Yeah, yeah, but you know, if it brings in the coin, it'll put. A Knit your purse. I, there's probably a very big market of knitters that are into that. Well, you know, I'm, I've seen middle-aged ladies. Well, I time think on the hands during lockdown. That would have been a really good thing. I think sold it on um, Amazon. Oh, just hang on a minute. What What are you saying in, the, in my ear? What is a merino sheep? It's a breed of domestic sheep. So, do you mean domestic sheep? Where you put molested? Oh, it could be. <laughs> Why would it change it to molested though? Non-molested and domestic don't sound anything the same. I don't know how you spell molested. <laughs> oh. So there we go. We'll all be sporting. Well, not many of us. Some of us may be sporting Tom Daly jumpers. creations. Creations in the yeah. future. So moving on to a bit. So live music has started to come back now. Uh huh. And back for a little while. Yeah. So 
a lot of pop stars who are perhaps not at the top of their game anymore mm. have a bit of a clause where they can go and do like a Vegas residency. And um, Katy Perry has just started. I'm not saying that she's on the downward spiral, but you know, um, she has started. Well, Bonnie Tyler was doing it last week, just saying. <laughs> um, she so it, that it, her show, new show kicked off in the new year, uh -huh. and fans are kind of having a little. They they they're kind of puzzled by by it. So okay. so we've got some images here. It's very Katy Perry. So it's very pop. It's very colourful. It's very kind of like California girls, typical poppy Katy uh -huh. Perry. Lots of bright colours. All her hits. Um, you know, very very colourful, very outgoing. But in one of the sections of the show, she um, starts singing outside a, in front of a giant toilet. Okay. And then um, what happens is that, that all of a sudden a giant turd appears. Um, so we've got it, yeah. Um, is that Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh? I don't think it's Mr. Hanky. I think it's just generally just a turd. Oh. Um, with a, with a, with a, I like the detail of the sweet corn as its tooth. Um, a little bit of sweet corn as its tooth. Well, we've all had, been accused of having a sweet tooth. Yeah, so so so, so basically, she serenades this giant poo. Um, yeah, and and gets the audience to to to. What's to, the song that she sings? I think it's California Girls. Come out my bum, Mr. Poo. <laughs> I should have had more fibre for you. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a little bit surreal. It's a little bit kind of, honey, I shrunk the kids, and I needed a dump. That kind of thing. Um, and what she's <laughs> what she's saying? Well, because she's quite famous for doing. There was the shark thing, wasn't there, at the Super Bowl? Baby be shark, do, do, no. Do, do. Uh, but the shark that was dancing behind her that became a meme for about ten minutes. Um, what she's saying is, is that it's all fun. Uh -huh. It's not nothing is serious. People have kind of reached that that point of the pandemic where they need a bit of fun and they need a bit of light-hearted entertainment. Um, she says we all need a soundtrack to our lives, and I hope I can be part of that. Me and my giant shit. She didn't say giant yeah. shit. I was going to say, she's saying that we all need a bit of fun, but that's just a bit shit. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Now, I'd go and see that. Yeah. If it wasn't in Las Vegas. Because it's very hot. Would you go and see Katy Perry? No. No, you're not a Katy Perry fan? No. I wouldn't pay money to see her. Am I turds? <laughs> no. No? No. Okay. All right, then. Well, we'll move on to our last bit of show business. Okay. We like a bit We like a bit of news about Drag Race, but not necessarily because there's about 500 episodes, seasons and different ones and channel this channel and subscribe, blah. Channel this channel. Ch yeah, it's on this channel. It's on that channel. You've got <laughs> I was going to say, you've got it's it. not Drag Race, the clairvoyant version. <laughs> we like to find out how past contestants of Drag Race are doing. Yep. And we've got a little bit of news about Bag of Chips. Love Bag of Chips. Who was season one? UK, yes. Yes, of UK. Mm -hmm. So that's better. Much better. She we've got a thing, we've got a picture of her. So bag of chips in drag, bag of chips out of drag. Mm -hmm. But still very feathery. But still very yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so she has got an acting role in oh. popular channel four school drama Ackley Bridge. Oh. I've never seen this programme, have you? Is it Ackley Bridge? Is it Ackley Bridge or Ackley Bridge? Ackley Bridge. Ackley Bridge. Ackley I think Bridge. it's Ackley Bridge. Ackley Bridge. Ackley Bridge. Yeah, yeah. So, so Bagger, whose real name is Leo Loren, mm -hmm. that is actually quite a good drag name in itself. Yeah, yeah. Leo Loren. Um, has, <laughs> it's going to star in that. So she's filmed it, mm -hmm. but there's no details yet of what kind of character that she's going to play. Is she going to play a drag character? Is mm -hmm. she going to play herself? So, so since appearing on Drag Race, uh -huh. she's had quite a lot. She's appeared in quite a lot of things. Tends to be more reality things. Mm -hmm. So she's done um, Celebrity Master Chef. We've got a picture of her here in Celebrity Master Chef. Yep. Kind of did really well. How far did she get in Celebrity? I, don't know, she, I know she did really well. So it's a little bit like Liza Minnelli. Uh, that's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with a Z. Yeah, Liz hello, Liz hello. Liz. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so she's done quite a lot of stuff, um, and th the producers saying that they think that. That she would be really, so. It's one of these kind of like cloak and dagger. We're not. We don't know what it is. Okay. Don't know how she's going to do it. Um, kept under wraps. So I didn't know that Ackley Bridge, Ackley Bridge, whatever it's called. Yeah. Just stop trying to say the K twice. Ackalala. Yeah. Um, it's been on. It's been on since 2017. Uh huh. So that's in Yorkshire about school. Yeah. I've never watched it, so I don't know. Maybe not. No. Oh. I, I thought it was. I thought it was. You know, this is a picture of it. I kind of recognise some of the actors. That's him out of. Um, EastEnders, Paul Nichols. Uh huh. And that's her from something else. I think she was in she EastEnders was in as well, wasn't oh, she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if that if that is your thing, it's coming on TV later on this year. Oh, okay. 
let's watch out for him. And that's the end of this week's showbiz news. Wonderful. So yeah, that's always something to look forward to. Bag of chips. You're welcome, you dusty old man. But st <laughs> and stick around as next. It's Mike and the Bulls. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's have him bring us a buzz. You like sport, don't you? Yeah, I do, Mike. Yeah. What's your favourite sport to partake in? Don't laugh so hard in the gallery, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite sport to partake in? All of them. No, and none been... of them. <laughs> All of them and none of them. Yes. Not a cricket fan. No, I like I like I like to twirl a baton. Is that a sport? <laughs> Was it? Uh, are we talking a chocolate baton? Are we talking out the quality street? You're going ooh, hom. A pink baton. No. <laughs> <laughs> the pink baton. Is that not a euphemism for a? Yeah, let's go. Well, let's move on. Let's move on. What are we talking about? <laughs> so um, this is a story about the first openly gay pro wrestler, Jake Atlas. Oh, that sounds like a, well, a that's, name. That's his, his stage name. That, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, as basically, he's returned to wrestling after a short break due to mental health issues. Okay. So, yes, we've got a picture of him on screen now. Smooth. It's a very smooth area. Mm. Yes. It's very muscular. Muscular and smooth. Yes. It's how I like my wrestlers, to be fair. Muscular and smooth. Yes. Or Roman Reigns. Now, if you, you won't know, but anybody out there that watches Roman Reigns is hot. John Cena. John Cena! He's not attractive. He is. Nah. Kind of, like a, in an action man kind of way. With a smooth area. <laughs> action man's got a smooth area below. Yeah. Us. He's very angular, isn't he? He's very angular, yeah. yes. Um, well, yes, um, he, he first started in um, 2020 with the WWE as the first out um, and proud gay wrestler. Okay. Um, he took a break in September in 21. I'm saying and he takes some time away from mental health reasons because he was getting a lot of homophobic slurs from the, the crowd. Um, and has returned but to AEW, which is a different wrestling company. Okay. Okay. Um, so that he doesn't get any homophobic slurs. How will he know he won't get any homophobic slurs? Well, he's had one in the past with, with AEG and they basically ejected the person. Oh, right. Okay. I mean, sport in general is not, it's kind of like one of the last places on the earth where they, they still get away with being homophobic and transphobic and... Catholic church. Yeah, well, you know, they're not wrestling each other. All the, um... <laughs> we didn't say that they, don't, they do or they don't. No. We're just going to leave that all to your own imaginations. And, and to be fair, wrestling is one of the gayest looking sports on the face of the earth. I enjoy watching wrestling. I bet you do. Yeah, hunky men holding each other down to listen. Boxer tissues, ankles, uh, ankles. trousers around your ankles. Nah. Throw in a... Throw in your... Play with a, play with a pink hold. bat on. <laughs> <laughs> Twirl him a pink bat on. <laughs> like, woo! <laughs> well, good for him. Yes. So it, it's good news that he's managed to return to wrestling. Mm. Because it's his passion and his love. <laughs> yes. And I'd like to feel his passion and his love as well. Would you? Ooh. Yes. But moving on. The next bit of news. Okay. And it's about... Um, it's been a bit of a tragedy. Tragedy! If this is a really, really sad story now, I'm going to regret that. <laughs> you are really going to regret that. <laughs> um, have you ever been in a busy crowd? A busy crowd? Yeah. Always. Okay. And how do you how do you know if you're going to be safe in a busy crowd? Well, you don't know if you're going to be safe in a busy crowd. No. Um, well, imagine if that busy crowd was um, the Coldstream Guards. Okay. Now we And you were a small child. Oh. Yes. And this is a story about a small child who's been trampled by the Coldstream Guards. So it's a, a young tourist was, was out um, visiting London and the Coldstream Guards were marching and the child ran out in front of the, the marching. They didn't stop, did they? They shouted, watch out, and kept marching Shame. and basically trampled him, knocked him down. Um, so, yeah, his parents... Is he dead? No, he's alive. Oh, OK. Um, they checked on him afterwards. After body. The, after the boneless body. After they'd trampled him. Um, they, they checked up on him and he was fine. He was oh, fine. he was fine. Just a bit shocked. Just a bit brain damaged. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 wait, well, one, why is he not in school? <laughs> that's, 
That's the question we ask whenever there's a child involved. <laughs> why was he not in school? Yeah, the bit where I said he was on holiday. Uh, why is he on holiday? Nobody can go on holiday. It's COVID. Why is he on holiday? <laughs> You're allowed to go on holiday. And not in school. It's in school time. <laughs> I, I don't agree with that. They, they get a fine. <laughs> Wasn't in school time. Okay. During the Christmas break. It was during the Christmas break. Oh, that's yeah. okay then. Just all this, this anger and rage for, for this child that's been injured by some guards. Well, he walking. ran out in front of them, the silly arse. So it's him right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, at least you've done... <laughs> I don't know, didn't they have on reins? Children on <laughs> reins. <laughs> hoink, hoink them back. One of those dog leads that you can pull them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let them run for a bit and pull them back. Yeah. 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 Don't think they'll let you do that. Well, you take your chances in this life, don't you? Here in just a... <laughs> You can, whatever, whatever will be, will be. I'm just be thankful that they didn't do it in Red Square where they did in the tanks. Oh, because that had been like, a whole different conversation. Nothing like. Doesn't lot see appear any parents in that those pictures as yeah, it was being. Were there. Oh, don't go. Yeah, if we put the, put the picture back up, parents are there. See, parents there, next to child. Okay. So you've got. It looks like he's leaping in the middle of it. It's like he's actually leap, or is he being kicked in the air? As he's they... being kicked by the, the marching. Oh, is he okay though? He's fine. Oh, well done. Yeah. It was on TikTok, so if you want to watch it, oh, it's they make him they make him go backwards and forwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a comedy. <laughs> They've done it to a theme tune. Everything sucks. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Be careful what, what you walk out in front of, really. And film everything. Film everything. Yeah. Well, not everything. You never know. N not everything. Because <laughs> no one needs to see what happened before with the... Yeah. Anyway. Um, moving on. You know how I love a challenge? Yeah. Okay. So things like the, the Tide Pod Challenge happened. Well, that wasn't... You weren't supposed to do that. You weren't supposed to do that, But the Ice Bucket Challenge as well. Yes. Yeah. Planking. Well, planking. That was a mm. challenge. Yes. I misheard that and was, was doing very well oh, at the other challenge. Oh, yeah. And Whoa. then they went, no, it's planking. I'm like, oh, mm. I had a very sore arm. Um, but it's a story about a 10-year-old girl who asked Alexa for a challenge to do. Mm. And Alexa came back with a suggestion of the penny challenge. Okay, what's the penny challenge? The penny challenge um, is another one that you shouldn't do. Um, and that's basically putting a, a, a penny next to the live terminal of a plug and switching it on to see oh. if you die from electric shock. Well, that was that's a bit dark, isn't it, Alexa? It is. So the, um, Amazon basically said that Alexa was searched the internet for the word challenge and what it could find as a challenge, because that was trending, suggest it to the 10-year-old. Okay. Yeah. As Alexa was explaining the challenge to the child, the mum said, no, Alexa, stop, to stop Alexa explaining it. Um, but child could have basically died. Was the child on the way to the socket with a... No, it's listening to what Alexa said about the, oh. the, the penny challenge. I wonder if the child's an arsehole and Lex was doing it on purpose. I think so. Yeah, it's like all those times you made me listen to Peppa Pig. Yeah. Yeah. And the mm. Baby Shark song. Ask me to sing Baby Shark one more time. Yeah, go and fill a bath up. <laughs> plug in a toaster. <laughs> Get some toast. Mm, Jump tasty. in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a challenge. We're not, do we're, not, no, no, we're not suggesting that people do that. No. No. Because you will die. You would die. Unless yes. you were Uncle Fester. He didn't die when that happened to him. Niche. Uncle Fester's made up. I know, but. It's a story. I know, but he, not he real. didn't. Because he didn't really do it. That's why he didn't die. Yeah, no, but he didn't, though. He didn't. It's not real, Lee. I know! Okay. I'm so. just saying. Okay. So if you're imaginary, <laughs> you can do things like kill yourself. Right, and on that, that chirpy moment, if you want to interact with us on social media, I wouldn't know why, but it's at the Could TV. And that brings us quite nicely over to our story of the week. Is there yeah. something equally dark as your other stories, Mike, or is it, you know? Well, it's about your baby being crushed by rocks or something like that? It depends how angry you get about fictional things. Quite is apparently something. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so Netflix have come up with a new show called Stay Close. All right, okay. Right, which has been filmed in the northwest of England. Oh. Okay. This locale. Indeed. Mm. Um, and basically, people have slammed it. Slammed it? Slammed it. <laughs> which is like where you take Sean Connery and slam it down. Slam it, Miss right. Shawnee Penny. <laughs> that was a good impression. <laughs> that was, but think about what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do you know what slamming is? Yeah. Is it something sexual? Okay. Basically injecting drugs and then having sex with them. Well, they probably did that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, yes, because um, 
people have been outraged. Outraged. The fact that the people have been going from one part of the northwest to another part of the northwest within seconds. <gasps> so yeah, um, the the trip that they took went from Runcorn to Saint Helens via Blackpool and Wigan. Now, for those people not in the northwest, that's about a two hundred mile round trip, and he okay. did it in four seconds. And that upset people. And that upset people. So much that they had to turn off. Oh, they turned off the programme? They couldn't watch any more because it's ridiculous that someone's driven from this part of the North West to this part of the North West. Not the fact that it's made up or a TV show. Is it a documentary? No, it's it's a drama. Oh, a drama. It's a drama. They just use different locations. People Isn't got it? Very, very upset that... Isn't these, it? Uh, people. Which actors? It's not the showbiz, I'm not allowed to say. Oh, okay. Is it, is it, is it... I don't know. What's it called? I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Stay Close. Oh, yeah. I haven't watched it, but it's, uh, yeah. It's got um, James Nesbitt in it. Is that the one that the Scottish guy... Would do? No, he's Irish. That was in Cold Feet. But yeah, people say it spoiled the entire show for them because they couldn't focus on the plots. They were too busy going, that location's not there. Well, if that's, if that's going to spoil your programme, then you need to have a look. You need to go and sit in front of a mirror and have a long look at yourself. Yeah. People not believing that something not true mm. or something made up shouldn't resemble real life, like putting a toaster in with Uncle Fester. But that's the end of the, show, of the buzz this week. Thank you for that, Mike. And he did survive. He did. Because he was made up. Stick with us, because coming up after the break, we have our Game of the Week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. So it's about time for us to play our game of the week. We're playing straight acting. Very difficult for you though, Mike. So off you haul your saggy old trousers. <sighs> saggy old trousers, saggy old skin, whatever. Um, <laughs> I love it when you confuse me and you. I, yeah, okay. I've, just get anyway, go. I'm just going. Go. Game of the week. The rules are quite simple. Mike is going to do whatever is on his card and I have to try and work out what the rambling is all about. Are you ready, Mike? Yes. Go for it. Okay. <coughs> Ooh, Carol Baskin's husband. Nom, 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 nom. <coughs> A tiger shitting out Carol Baskin's husband. Not quite. Can't poo. A constipated tiger. Yes. All right, sweetheart. Four. Show us your tits. Dad? <laughs> no? <laughs> All right, darling. Is it, is it some Cockney builders? It is builders, yeah. Oh. We're doing well at these this week. Mm. Yeah. I'm not pressing my button either. No, you're not. So don't count. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I'm in England and I shouldn't be. Oh, my head's come off. Oh, no. I'm... Are you doing a Welsh accent? No, I was being Scottish. But at Is least it... I was in the right country. Is it Just... Queen Elizabeth I? It's that era. That era? Yeah. Oh, I'm wearing a red dress. That's a bit naughty. I'm Catholic. The Pope? No. Oh, my head's come off. A decapitated Pope? No. I don't know. It's Mary Queen of Scots. Oh! Okay. Um. Oh, I'm big and grisly. Oh, apparently I do this a lot. Oh, I need a dock leaf. One of your fantasies? No. Is it do bears shit in the wood? It is, yeah. Too late. Don't count. <laughs> so, um... Na 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 Jurassic wank. Not quite. 
So what, what's in Jurassic Park? Dinosaurs. Okay. Dinosaur having a wank. No, why would you have a wank? I don't know. Why is the sky blue? Why is the sky blue? Well, that's because of the water droplets in the atmosphere refracting the light. Dan a danger wank. <laughs> um, oh no, I'm a T-Rex and I can't do it myself. No. I don't, what? Oh, it's a horny dinosaur. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Hello! Hello, Miss Piggy! Hello! Ho -ho. Kermit the Frog being electrocuted. Yes! Is it? Yes! Do that again. What? I. I don't know. Put it in my blowhole. Put it in my blowhole. Is it a horny dolphin? It is a horny dolphin. Yeah. Oh, put it in my blowhole. No, after asking me twice, darling, <laughs> I went back to the builders. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Meow. A cat. Okay. A cat. Yeah, I, I, I have to do this in parts because you'll not get it otherwise. Oh, I'm very fluffy now. Very warm. I need a static cling sheet. A cat in a tumble dryer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> boing, boing. I love. Boing, boing. A gay on a on a pogo stick. No. All these sequins flowing out of my pouch. A drag kangaroo. Well, a camp kangaroo. Oh. Okay. This is, uh, it's going to be tricky. You ready? Mhm. Mm Silent. So what is it? Silence. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Is it the sound of summer? Sound of where? I don't know. No, it's so. So do that again. It's the sound of oh. silence. Yeah, sound of silence. I'm sure we've done that one before. No one watches the show late. It's fine. Off. You. A rude goldfish. No. Ked. Getting in my way. Is it something to do with the fish? It is something to do with the fish, yeah. An angry goldfish. An angry goldfish. Okay. Meh, meh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm up. What? Where's my herd? Do that, do that again. Meh, meh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where's my herd? A lost camp sheep. No. Ooh, I've got very big horns. It's, it's, I'm, on a, I'm on a ledge. I'm on the edge. I hope I don't fall off the edge. A goat. Go, woo, 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 woo. An excited goat. A excited goat, yeah. Time goes slowly on this game, doesn't it? No. No. Just for you, because you don't get them. <laughs> um, I need lots and lots of pears. 
Do you have this in a size 14,000 leg? A, a millipede shopping. What's the millipede buying? Trousers. No, it's a centipede buying shoes. Oh, nearly. <laughs> different animal, well, different insect. What else we've got? Ready? I see you coming into my salon. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you first. <laughs> I'm addicted. <laughs> Sorry. I wish I could quit you. Um, now do the thrust. You have to do the thrust, otherwise it's not funny, Lee. <laughs> um, is it the high a high chaparral? What? The, the, yeah, I don't know. Say it's that like, again. Something to do with cowboys. It is something to do with cowboys. What did you just say? High chaparral. It was a program with cowboys in it. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Is that not a Victoria Wood sketch? No. Welcome to the world of Sacherelle. <laughs> high chaparral. Help me out, Dean in the gallery. Wrong gear. Yeah, see. <laughs> so, so, so the confident, confident nod from Lee there is because there was a TV show um, in the early 70s um, that, of course, Lee doesn't know about. But they, he repeated it. Anyway, I don't know. Is it High Noon? Um, it's two gunslingers in the Wild West. Oh. <laughs> that, that was Oscar winning that. I don't understand. What what noise am I making? A, a tuba, trumpet. Not quite. <sighs> Sound of a tumour taking over my brain. No, it sounds like white noise. <laughs> <Be that close. laughs> um is it a brass band? It's bagpipes, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think we're out of time, Mike. And do you know who wins? No one. Everybody wins. Everyone's a loser in this game. Yeah, after this quick break, it's that science that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now oh, it's that part of the show that's that science that is. That science that is. Are you ready, Lee? Ugh. What do you mean, ugh? It's my face. That's fine, mate. Cowbag. What are you going to stun and amaze us with today? Um, so we're going to make a Newtonian fluid into a non-Newtonian fluid. Oh. So a, a non-Newtonian oh, fluid is something that remains the same viscosity under pressure. Mm-hmm. A non-Newtonian Newtonian changes its viscosity under pressure. Oh, okay. Exciting, no? So yeah. you should have, um, you should have three vessels, two of which contain things. Mm -hmm. One which does not. I do indeed have all three of those vessels. Good. So you should have some corn flour in a glass. Mm -hmm. And then some water and a jug. I do, I have those. And what we're going to do is we're going to combine the corn flour and some water in small amounts. Yeah. And I basically make the water solid. Is that is that it? That's literally it. We're, 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 so what I want you to do is into your jug. I'm going to do mine directly on the science table because I'm a rebel. Oh. Okay. So you want some of your corn flour in your jug. All of it or some of it? Just some of it. Oh. There we go. Okay. Splattered. And now you want to add small amounts of liquid. Small amounts of liquid. Okay. What's with the, what's with the, the, the tude? What's with the tude? Mike, this is what we do in primary school. I don't know. Corn flour and water. No. And what, what does it do? It makes a weird paste. Okay. That when you slam a child, no, when you, <laughs> when you 
smash it with your hand or hit it, uh -huh. it doesn't go liquidy. Okay. But um, then it returns to a liquid state. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. This isn't, this is PhD science, that is. This is that science, that is. It's still science. I'm telling you the science behind the situation here. All right. So add some small amounts of fluid, please. Are you doing it first on me? I'll let you do it. Oh, I'll go first. Now I've got I've got some some colourful water here. Looks like sweet chili sauce. It looks like what? Sweet chili. <laughs> sweet chili sauce. <laughs> it does look a bit sweet. like sweet chili sauce. You're right. Sweet chili sauce. Yeah. Sweet chili sauce. And because of the way I'm adding it here, you can actually see it changing. It's exciting. Go on. You can, you can go. What with a spoon or just pour it in? You can just pour it out. I'm applying to a table, so okay. I have to do it carefully and slowly. Mix it with a spoon. Yeah, I've given you a wooden spoon to help. Yeah, done it. Is it all mixed together? Yeah. Let me see. That's very thin. You want more? Oh, thank it you. It needs to be quite thick. I knew my man girdle would work. Are you wearing a girdle, Lee? I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a gentleman's compression a garment. A gentleman's compression? A gentleman's compression garment. And how's that working for you? It's working significantly well. Significantly As you can tell, my, well. <laughs> my, my voice is significantly higher. Uh-huh. That's because my internal organs are in my throat. That's but you see, now, it's got, now I've put too much in. Well, it's, it's a balancing act, so you just have to be careful. Oh, I just don't want to, though. But if you don't do it properly, you can't do the fun bit of the experiment. You, you, that is what you always <laughs> That's what you always say. Is that what I trick the boys <laughs> with? I know. Oh. Is that enough? Let me see. Yes, that's better. Okay. So now, have you got... You should also have a straw there. I do. What I want you to do, is I want you to try and blow bubbles into your fluid. <sighs> okay. Just scrape that off. What are you scraping off? The flob off the end of the spoon. <laughs> Right, what do you want me to do? I want you to try and blow bubbles in it. Okay. Mm, keep going. The blow bubbles in it. Ow, it hurts. Why does it hurt? It hurt. It vibrates against my lips and it's not pleasant. <laughs> You've said that before. Ow! No, I don't want to do that. Ow, it, <laughs> it, it really is a horrible sensation. I can't blow bubbles in it, Mike. Why not? Because it's, it's not liquid. It is liquid though, isn't it? <sighs> no, but when you put something in it that makes pressure, then it becomes a solid again. Okay. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm almost finished mixing mine together because as I said, you know, hard surface, fluids, fun. Oh, it's encroaching. Okay, so I've got mine. I'm going to do my straw now. See, I'm getting bubbles in mine. Well done, you. Sounding bloody flubber, that's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> sounding flubber? Yeah. What do you mean, sounding flubber? That's what you're doing, you're sounding it. <laughs> but it's not flubber, because it's pink. Well, it's of, of a consistency. See? See, this is exciting. This is fun, because it's all gooey and... and and flibby flubby until you add pressure, in which case it becomes hard. Yeah, it's great, yeah. Yeah. So what happens, do you know what happens there? Are you going to tell us, Mike? So... No, you said, you said you've done this in primary school, so come on. Smart ass. <laughs> well, it just gets, it, because it's the consistency of the, the corn flour is a weird substance that, although it absorbs water, it doesn't become liquid. Nope. Oh, well, whatever. 
So yeah, the reason why this works is because the corn flour, when you push it together, actually absorbs the moisture. Does it, it forces the liquid into it, which then makes it hard because the fluid is trapped in the corn flour's molecules. Great. Yeah. So the more pressure, so the more pressure you add, the harder it gets. It which does. is the same in sexy time. It's not the same as sexy time at all. What do you mean it's not the same as sexy time? Because that. <laughs> That, I've made a mess, you, I'm wearing well, gloves, yeah. and the harder you press, the better it is. Well, and then it's, it immediately goes soft again. Yeah, as soon as you let go. Yeah, just like sexy time. This is probably the most disappointing, Mike. And I'm, you know, I'm not angry at you. I'm just disappointed, and that's often quite, is, is often is worse. Right. What we've made is just make gelatinous jizz. That's it. And the, when we did make the jizz, we, at least we ate it, and this you can't, you can eat this, it's all food safe. No, it's not nice. You say it was nice, the jizz wasn't nice when we made the jizz either. <laughs> right? But no, because last time when we made gunpowder, you wussed out. You asked for fire, fire, fire. We did fire. Oh no, I don't want to do it, Mike. It's scary. You were going to try harder in 2022, weren't you, Mike? And... I was. And that's why we did the gunpowder. And then that's it. You wussed out. So yeah, I've got it on my lips. So yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna assume that you, you, you want me to end this then. Yeah, pretty, I think I've pretty much got out as much as I'm gonna get out of it. Okay. Don't think. Well, I mean, I could make some gravy. You use it as a gravy thickener, don't you? You can use corn flour as a thickener, yes. Mm -hmm. um, if you add heat to it. And that again, because it absorbs water, moisture. So as it gets hot, the reaction gets, gets more than the pressure, so it then Thickens. Wow. But that is science, that is. That science, that is. So what people don't know in tel Telluland is that between so like the, that science that is and then being back here, it takes a good few minutes to get everything all set back up. The entire time, Lee's been doing that playing with it, saying how shite it is while we're recording, but then playing with it quite happily. Yeah, but I'm fickle, that's my, that's my thing. It's my, <laughs> yeah. it's my uh, unique selling point. Yeah. It's not a selling point, irritation. Special like, offer. Like crabs. But that's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media, at The Could TV, where you can also follow us. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcast services, just search for Chewing The Cud and give us a little subscribe while you're there. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Eat some. Oh. Don't you. F <laughs> uh, it's too drippy. <laughs> you said that before. <laughs>